Social exclusion, bullying, gender inequality, and violence against women and girls are words that sound foreign, but sadly are rooted in our modern Pacific lifestyle. Since July 2018, a collaboration under the Pacific Partnership to End Violence Against Women and Girls has seen three SPC divisions, RRT, SDP and ECAP, collectively implementing the Social Citizenship Education Program in Kiribati, Tuvalu and the Marshall Islands. Social citizenship is about equipping school students and young people with the skills to be able to make good, considered decisions, to work collaboratively and peacefully, and to think cr critically and creatively to ensure the sustainable future of our Pacific countries. The Pacific region has some of the world's highest rates of violence against women and girls, with up to two in every three Pacific women impacted by domestic violence and gender-based violence, twice the global average. The Pacific Partnership brings together governments, civil society organizations, communities and other partners to promote gender equality, prevent violence against women and girls, and increase access to quality response services for survivors. The Social Citizenship Education Program is funded by the European Union. The European Union is strongly committed to gender equality globally and, and also in the Pacific. Ending violence against women and girls is, is a crucial element of this. Uh, this has also to do with empowerment of, of girls and women. For us, uh, one of the key elements here is education. It is about uh, changing norms and behavior in a society, and this has often to come from the children and from the youth. And uh, we are very happy to, that Kiribati is committed to address this and to work particularly also in schools, creating a safe and inclusive environment for, for children to grow up and for children to become social citizens. Um, they are the leaders of the school, teachers, staff have a crucial role to play and um, this requires a bit of, of uh, work, it, this requires uh, changes of, uh, of behavior and uh, SPC uh, working with the Ministry of Education in Kiribati uh, will support this process and, and I think uh, we, are, we are very happy that, that from our side we can do a contribution and, 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 and help to, to get this underway. In Kiribati, this means partnering with the Ministry of Education and Kiribati Teachers College to incorporate human rights into the school curriculum and provide pre-service and in-service training to teachers. The training program commenced with a training workshop in November 2018 for teachers' college lecturers, focusing on the foundational concepts of human rights and responsibilities, gender equality, social citizenship, and violence against women. The workshop provided a solid foundation of practical techniques and theory, but the real learning for participants came through sharing first-hand experiences about some of the major social issues in Kiribati classrooms. Participants discovered that they faced many common challenges, including bullying, social exclusion, gender inequality, and violence against women and girls. We, we collected the views from the teachers and we believe that um, bullying is, is a worse um, problem in, in the schools. Well, it's gender balance. I think that that needs to be, that to be considered when you are um, doing, giving an activity inside the classroom. There are a lot of issues we've encountered in the classroom. Uh, one is social exclusion. Social exclusion being experienced by teachers to the students in which they favor students with high social economic background. With the social citizenship workshop, it gives us some um, sort of what are the 
the, the, the best ideas and what are the best strategies in trying to address bullying. So having gone through this workshop, I found ways to tackle and to address those issues. I have a great plan now, big plan to, to implement that inside the classroom and the way I have to, to apply these strategies to enable them to think and to share ideas. So they will, instead of just an abstract or theory things, they are doing it as practice. So I think this is more meaningful for them. We have plans um, straight after this. We're going to develop modules. Uh, there will be, you know, to be rolled out to the in-service teachers and the pre-service. It's a very good program. It's expanded to, to all teachers across the country. Not only the teachers, but other stakeholders, including the community. We're excited to, you know, to continue with the, in, in spreading out um, the social relationship to the teachers. Citizens with these skills, these attitudes and knowledge will only grow when teachers give students the opportunity to learn about and practice being social citizens. An enabling environment is also important to sustain such skills, which will involve parents and the community at large, participating and contributing to this development. This approach should be based on our Pacific values of respect for people and place, inclusivity and belonging, sharing and fairness, and the dignity and worth of every person. It should help our young people to develop self-confidence and successfully deal with significant life changes and challenges. The program is encouraging a whole-of-school approach, working in four main areas, curriculum, learning and teaching, relationships, governance and the school environment. Social inclusion can be likened to an umbrella. It is overarching and covering what happens in a school. In order for any umbrella to stay upright and perform its function, the spokes must be strong, must be firmly held in place and needs to work together. If one or more spoke is bent, broken or not fully attached, social inclusion can fall apart. There are a number of essential spokes to this umbrella, which these teacher trainings have touched on, including rights and responsibilities, non-violence, equity, and inclusion of groups that are vulnerable. And so we believe firmly that education is an essential avenue to change attitudes and behavior to end violence against women and girls, and to build a culture of human rights. Hence, gender equality needs to start at school.